Hi, this is Ms. Delosier, and these are your notes on the cell cycle. Uh, so cell cycle should be review from, um, from ninth grade bio, uh, and you probably learned mitosis in seventh grade, uh, but we're gonna do it super fast. These will be quick notes. Um, so the cell cycle are the stages, or the cycle that talks about cell division in eukaryotic cells. Uh, and this is important that it is eukaryotic cells. So there are three parts of the cell cycle. There's interphase, which is kind of the resting and growth phase. It's not actually a phase of mitosis. It's its own separate thing. Uh, and then you have mitosis, which is a nuclear division, which is why this can only happen in eukaryotes because prokaryotes don't have a nucleus. And then you have cytokinesis, which is actually uh, the membranes divide. It's, it's technically division of the cytoplasm and it's what forms two separate cells. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's look at the cell cycle graphic because you should be familiar with this. So the cell cycle is a circle uh, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put each of these in really quick and I am going to explain them. So the first phase, uh, we're going to start at this pink line right here and we're going to move our way around. So the first phase is G1, which is when the cell grows. Uh, so it basically doubles in size and it, it grows uh, and makes all the proteins and everything that the cell would need. Um, so when it is large enough, um, then it will enter the S phase and it will replicate its DNA. S stands for synthesis. So it's gonna go ahead and synthesize a copy of the DNA because you cannot have a cell with a nucleus divide if you do not first copy the DNA. Um, and then the last part of the, uh, the interphase is G2, which is basically prepare to divide. It, it, uh, is when the cell goes ahead and does a check to make sure that it has all the proteins and everything that it needs to divide. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look at those phases together, G1, S, and G2 together, make up all these three, make up um, interphase. So those are interphase together. Okay, then the next thing that we have is the M phase of the cell cycle, and M stands for mitosis, and that is broken up into four actual subphases that I was not going to attempt to squeeze on to that pie chart, but they go prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase in that order. So it's G1, S, G2, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and then this pink line, which is cytokinesis, which is the actual division of the cell. Now what I do not have on there yet is that the cell cycle has various checkpoints to ensure that it is happening correctly, that the DNA hasn't been copied incorrectly, uh, that the cell has not grown incorrectly, that it has everything that it needs. And these checkpoints kind of tell the cell whether or not it is okay to divide um, or if it's too soon to divide. And the checkpoints are what controls the cells growing too quickly uh, and over proliferation of the cell cycle dividing too rapidly is what causes cancer. So um, the main checkpoint that we're gonna talk about is right there between um, G1 and M phase. And so there are two paths that the cell can take at that point. Um, after it divides, the cell can go ahead and move on towards differentiation um, or if there is something the matter with the cell, it can go ahead and trigger apoptosis. And apoptosis just means programmed cell death. So it's basically the cell is just going to digest itself from the inside out. Um, and that's what's supposed to happen when there's something the matter with the cell. When that does not happen, when apoptosis is not triggered and you have faulty cell division, that can lead to cancer. So let's look at the M phase, which is mitosis. Now this, you should really know, um, but I'm gonna do like the world's quickest mitosis review. So the first phase in mitosis is prophase. During prophase, the chromatin, which is the DNA, condenses and you can see the chromosomes. The nuclear membrane divides and you um, get spindle fibers beginning to form. So up here you see this is a cell in interphase. I've got a really distinct nucleus. I've got my little really terribly drawn centrioles, my centrosome hanging out right there. During prophase, you'll see the nuclear membrane has divided. I have distinct X's, which are my chromosomes, and these light blue 
terrible drawings attached to my purple centrioles, those are the beginnings of the spindle fibers. So that is prophase. The next thing that happens is the cell will move to metaphase. During metaphase, the chromosome pairs line up in the middle of the cell and they're moved there by the contraction of the spindle fibers. So they're gonna go ahead and line up and do you see how like I only had two chromosomes here and yet suddenly I have three chromosomes here. So that's a terrible drawing, but I'm not redoing it, sorry. So notice metaphase, they are in the middle, the spindle fibers are stretched out, the centrioles are at opposite poles. All right, so that's metaphase. After metaphase, you have anaphase. And in anaphase, the chromosome pairs pull apart. They separate and they move to opposite sides of the cell. So in anaphase, anaphase away, my chromosomes have separated and they've moved to opposite sides of the cell. And then finally, we have telophase. During telophase, I get new nuclei forming and the chromosome, the chroma, chromatin uncondenses. So it goes back to looking like, um, like spaghetti and chromatin instead of chromosomes. You don't have like this, the X like stick like chromosomes anymore. So you're gonna have basically that. New nuclei form full of chromatin, but notice it's still just one cell. In order to get two cells, you have to have cytokinesis. So that's it. Like that's it for your review of the cell cycle. Um, super fast, that's really all I expect you to know. We will talk about cancer when we get into different systems um, and you'll have to investigate the impact of cancer, but we're not gonna memorize all of the checkpoints for that. If you have any questions, go ahead and make an appointment for tutoring. Thanks.